Hey, what's going on guys? Your Vera Valbar here for Inkscape Digital. Today we're going to be taking a look at some of the new 2D effects in HitFilm 3 Pro. Now there are definitely bigger developments in this new software, such as the 3D Object Particle Simulator or the 3D Camera Projection. But I wanted to take a look at the 2D effects because they are actually pretty cool and I know they won't get as much coverage as the bigger 3D updates. We're going to start off with the heat distortion effect. This is useful for simulating the kind of wavy effect that happens on something like a street on a hot day or the exhaust from a jet engine. In this example, I just have the effect on a grade with the bottom portion masked out. Next up, we have a volumetric light effect, and when I turn this on, the result is pretty obvious. There's a lot of customization you can do with the brightness, threshold, length of the rays, and color to get the look that you want. On the same shot here, I have the rain on glass effect, which simulates water dropping down the camera lens. There are a couple options here for size of the particles and look of the glass. HitFilm now has a fully functional curves effect, which if you don't know lets you change things like brightness and contrast and overall color of the clip. If you watch Andrew Kramer from Video Copilot's tutorials, you know how often this can be used. Here we have a new lens blur effect that can be useful for things like green screen or simulating depth of field. Finally on the shot, there is a new effect called Light Leaks, which overlays various colors that move around and make the video more visually interesting. Say you have a black and white particle simulation and need to add some color. The color vibrance effect instantly adds bright and intense colorization, and you can customize many of the options within it. And for the last demonstration in this video, we have two audio effects called Waveform and Spectrum. Both of these can be tied to an audio clip and give a visual representation of the sound. There are many options for changing the look of the lines, which can also be shown as dots or points if you choose. A cool use for this effect that I've seen is adding a polar warp effect onto it and using it for motion design. Thanks for watching guys, if this video helped you out please hit the like button and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Check out my previous video detailing an overview of HitFilm 3 Pro and leave any suggestions for tutorials in the comments below. Follow on Twitter and like on Facebook to stay updated of new videos. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all later.